In this video, I am going to provide you with an example of a stair tread with a nosing, with an undercut, and with both an undercut and a nosing. And the reason for this video is to provide you with something that most stair builders come across at least once in their lifetime as another method to build stairs. So let's go ahead and get started with the standard stairway without an overhang or a nosing and where everything is going to be a 90 degree angle and the depth of the stair tread is going to be 10 inches. So this is one method for building stairs. Here's another with a one inch nosing and our 10 inch layout. However, we're going to have a step that is going to be one inch larger. And this is probably the most popular method for building stairs. And I believe it would have something to do with the fact that it's a little easier than putting an undercut in the stairway. So here we have the same thing. Instead of a one inch overhang, we have a one inch undercut. So we're going to cut the stair stringers so that we can create an 11 inch step. And now would be a good time to point out that the maximum distance most of the time for either an overhang or an undercut is usually going to be about an inch and a quarter. However, you would need to check with your local building department to verify your local building code. Next up, let's take a look at a stairway that is going to have an undercut and an overhang. And this method right here, if we use a one inch overhang along with a one inch undercut, we're going to end up with a 12 inch tread or a tread that is going to be 12 inches deep. Next up, let's take a look at the easiest way you can check the overhang or the undercut measurement, and that would be with a framing square. Just simply grab a framing square, set it on top of your stair tread, and then shove it up tight against the nosing. So the measurement is going to be from the nosing, the face of the tread, at a 90 degree angle. You're simply going to come back here, and this distance here is what will need to be less than the inch and a quarter or whatever is recommended by your local building department. However, something like this would if you wanted to use the undercut. So here we would have a one inch nosing along with a quarter inch undercut to provide us with our inch and a quarter maximum distance required by our local building codes. And if we take a look at this step here, we have an 11 and a quarter inch long step instead of an 11 inch step. And in my opinion, there is no need to use both the overhang and the undercut. For example, if we have a one inch undercut, then we could simply make the riser a little steeper, pull it back a little bit to our inch and a quarter. And that can be done when you're laying out the stair stringer. And I believe I do have a video on that also. And you can find that video at our website. Now in our next example for the overhang, we're going to be dealing with the same situation where we have a one inch overhang. And all you would need to do would be to add another quarter of an inch to the length of the stair tread to provide you with an 11 and a quarter inch long step. So yes, you can use both of them together. However, it doesn't seem like it would make a lot of sense. However, there could be a time and place for either one of these designs. And I will leave that up to you as the stair designer or builder.